Hey, y'all. So now we're going to do the karmic reading that I was supposed to do yesterday, but I got a little bit busy with readings and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it tomorrow. So let's see what does the collective need to be aware of when it comes to Karmisha. All right. We have here somebody who has a sleeve tattoo. This could be you or this could be the karmic. Okay. So let's keep going. We have here, she stole money. <laughs> okay so karmic the karmic stole money from you uh take it how it resonates you could be dealing with a feminine karmic a masculine karmic okay uh just take it how it applies and if it don't apply let it fly okay all right let's see We have out of town and painful revelation. So somebody could have stole money out of town and somebody is, you know, having this painful revelation that uh, this person was doing this, that they was stealing. Okay. They were stealing, scamming, whatever the fuck they was doing. Somebody, somebody realized that they was doing this. Now we have strip club and then we have steal. So again, something going on with something about stealing. All right. A karmic could have went out of town. Maybe she was. Working at the strip club or some shit. I don't know. We're going to keep going. Tell me more. So they stole money from somewhere. Either from this person, the divine being, or, uh, you know, they stole money from a strip club, maybe. All right. Let's keep going. Something about a concert. Maybe somebody said they was going out of town to go to a concert or some shit, and they ended up. Yeah, we have here gaining a lot of money. And they ended up doing some scam or something. Right here. Gaining a lot of money. They took a gamble. They took a risk. Whatever they did here. And they got some type of money. Tell me more. We have here a journey. So again, somebody took a trip out of town, as you can see here. Somebody took a trip. Maybe they even took a trip um, by boat, okay, uh, overseas. All right. Let's see. Tell me more about this uh, this energy spirit. Yeah, I'm on my way. So somebody took a trip somewhere and they did some weird shit. All right. Something strange for a little piece of change. What else? And now they got to go to court for this shit. Damn. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. And this one says actual court judgment, not spiritual court. So this is something happening in the physical. They are going to court for this. They might end up getting locked up. We have something about a pickup truck. And someone's going to have to be living out of a motel or they are living out of a motel right now. Somebody has a pickup truck or maybe they went with somebody out of town who has a pickup truck. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, look, meetings, they met up with somebody. <laughs> Maybe they met up with somebody who has a pickup truck when they went out of town and they did some weird shit and something backfired here. Wow. They try to do black magic, bro. Hold on here. So they try to steal money in a spiritual way, but it's somehow manifesting court, actual court. So they could have been doing some type of black magic here. And they could have tried to steal some type of money in a, in a spiritual way, all right? This could also be physical as well because for them to have an actual court judgment is because they actually did something, you know? It's just that 
like the whole, the way karma manifests, you know, God is creative, you know, like I don't make sure that you, you somehow get your karma in physical form. So whatever they did, they thought that they were probably going to get away with stealing something and they're not getting away with it. They, they're going to get locked up. All right. So this is part of their karma. Oh, wow. Look, spiritual core at the bottom of the deck. And I said that too. So not only are they going to physical core, but yes, they are going to spiritual core. So yeah, they also try to do black magic. So there you go. Confirmation that, um, they try to do something in the spiritual to steal from you, steal your energy, your blessings, your anointing. And this person is now um, having to deal with the consequences of their actions with something that they did in the physical, that they thought they was going to get away with, okay? So that's what we got here, all right? They thought they was going to get away with this. They probably thought that it was not going to come back to them. And boop, this is karma, bitch. This is karma, bitch. Yeah, bad decision. And definitely, it says here, his thoughts, all right? So your karma could be a he or a she, but they're definitely in their thoughts about this bad decision that they did. They stress right now. Yeah, look, we got sad news. They got some type of sad news, all right, that maybe they've been on the investigation. I don't know how that works, how they alert them of that shit, but we've been seeing that uh, a lot of the things that have been coming out in the news about these people doing PPP loans, scams, and all this other shit... They've been on the investigation since 2021, you know? So they've been living their best lives this whole time, thinking they was going to get away with shit. And no, not really. Like, they've been on the investigation. So this could be what's going on here. They probably stole something. They thought they was going to get away with it. And no, it, 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 it's not going to end up like that. We have here a false person. So yeah, this person was false. They was doing some scam shit, all right? And now this shit is coming back to them. And they wasn't expecting that to happen. And that's their karma. So now, we're going to see why they have this poverty-stricken karma here. Because that means that they was doing black magic. So let me get my vibe check deck. And we're going to see what was going on here. Okay. <clears throat> and if you like these decks, click the link in my bio. Okay, this is vibe check one and two. All right, I'm using both of them. Okay. All right, spirit. What were they trying to do that now they're getting poverty stricken karma? They're going to be in poverty. They could have been, again, doing money spells. But let's see what comes out here. <laughs> well, now they're shook because they're seeing that it's not working. Uh, they're trying to reverse the spells that they have casted. So, yeah, they definitely was doing black magic. It says here, this was a failed attempt to escape their karma. Yeah, they're trying to run from their karma. But you cannot run from karma, boo. You got you to do what you got to do, Okay. Tell me more. All right, so we have here, they're trying to sabotage what you do for a living. So somebody's karmic is like trying to get somebody fired at work. Uh, maybe they're trying to be petty or some shit. Uh, we have here, karmic parents are involved. So the karmic is working with her, her, her or his parents or a mother or a father that's helping them do this shit. All right. They're abusing divination. They're getting readings done about you to see, uh, you know, what's going on, to see what's going on in your blessings, to see, you know, with your blessings or whatever. But spirit is saying that you have a warrior spirit. What was meant to break you, which is all this bullshit right here, it only built you and it made you stronger. All right. And you will be vindicated. OK, this karma goes over here, plotting on your blessings, on your anointing, on your gifts, on your finances. And uh, they're getting karma. All right. We have here defeated. You took down a very high ranked dark practitioner. All right. And all you all you've been doing is protecting your energy, uh, staying close to God, you know, lighting white candles, you know, cleansing yourself, praying, whatever you've been doing. That's all you need to do. All right. You don't need to do nothing else. Your spirit team got you. All right. That's one of the perks of being divine. You know, like we don't have to <laughs> dirty our hands with these dusty ass karmics. Like we just let spirit handle it. All right, what else? So now this this karmic is getting uh poverty stricken karma. So they're going to they're gonna be experiencing a lot of yeah, look, a lot of uh failure and, and financial losses. Okay. So this person belongs to a coven or they have an affiliation with some type of corrupt church organization, uh secret society. All right. And, and I used to think that secret society was like, ooh, something, you know, something, you know, secret, you know, like, no, 
Secret society is just a bunch of bums, a bunch of fucking uh, low vibrational thieves, a bunch of uh, low vibrational demons who are stealing. They have like a whole fucking organization where they know how to steal from people spiritually. They know how to attack people spiritually. Like they, they, they're a bunch of cowards. They do everything on the low. They don't, they don't attack nobody physically. You know, they're not going to pop off on nobody. What they do is all behind the scenes, like a bunch of pussies. All right. So this person is in that type of shit. All right. A group of people, a, a bunch of thieves, a bunch of scammers, basically. That's it. And they do black magic on people. All right. So this person is a demon. We have demon time. This person does not have any type of spiritual protection. They are not a soulless being. A demon has taken over their vessel for constantly causing chaos with black magic. This person always want to be playing with black magic and they don't got no spiritual protection. So whatever demons they try to send to you, whatever they try to attach to you, that shit got sent right to the sender. Okay. That's what we have here that they, that they was trying to reverse the spells and they can't, you know? So industry sacrifice, they're trying to sacrifice you for money, fame, and fortune. All right. And I said secret society. So somebody here is trying to be a rapper or some shit, but no, it could also be that they try to do just a sacrifice. That's it. A sacrifice, try to sacrifice you to get your money, your blessings. Okay. They wanted to do that with your energy. All right. This happens all the time. Y'all we have here, this person uh, is a sexy demon. They want to have sex with you to transfer a, a demon onto you, a sex demon. And I said that too. So now they have the sex demon on them, okay? Now they just want to go crazy, go fucking everybody, you know, like, ugh. So they're realizing that you are protected. Now they're praying to God for forgiveness. So again, they're realizing that you're protected. They want to do reversal spells. They want to pray to God now. But it's like, bitch, you wasn't working with God when you was doing all this black magic. Now all of a sudden you want to be praying to God and shit. Fuck out of here, bitch. Go, go pray to your daddy, the devil, and, and go handle that. All right, so solar plexus, they were trying to attack your solar plexus chakra. They don't want you to heal. They wanted you to stay in a low vibration to be able to continue to uh, siphon your energy, all right, and, and, and try to use your abundance, you know, your blessings, all right, your energy to manifest. And uh, they didn't want you to stand in your power. They didn't want you to be confident. They wanted you to be in a low vibration and be insecure, okay? But you're not doing that, you know? You, you're standing in your power. You're walking away from this type of energy. All right, so let me get one more. So they're going through this poverty karma because the main goal with all of this shit is money. Whew. And here we go, Karmisha. This is all she wants, money. All right, everything that... Um, that she that she does is like that's the goal you know to steal to create chaos misfortune in people's lives and she's okay with that anything else because she's a demon you know so it's like they, they don't really they don't they don't understand what they're doing bro all right but you are protected from this demon okay and we have here separation spells they wanted you isolated from everyone that you love from friends that really care about you, family that cares about you. Uh, if you have a divine counterpart that cares about you, you know, they wanted to keep you guys separated. All right. They was doing the absolute most. Okay. To keep you trapped, you know, like their own little, little pet or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they were trying to like, definitely. Yeah. Look, evil eye from ex-lovers. Okay. So this could be an ex-lover now. Maybe you broke up with this karmic, but this karmic was doing all this bullshit. All right. Behind the scenes, trying to keep you stuck. All right. Trying to steal from your energy. So now it's telling me that, uh, she's definitely going to get her karma. All right. They cannot run from this no matter what the fuck they try to do. All right. So let's pull some more cards. Let's see what we get from here. Tell me more, spirit. Wait, that's too much. Oh, well, maybe not. That was two cards. We have cheated and work bay. Oh, okay. So somebody could have been cheating with somebody that they work with or scam with. Okay, whatever work is to these karmics. You know, these, these karmics don't be having no job sometimes. They just be scamming and stealing and selling pussy. So whoever the fuck she was doing that with... <laughs> She was cheating with this person, all right? She was cheating, or maybe she cheated with somebody that you work with, all right? Maybe you, you know, you're the divine being. You got a job, and the karmic was cheating with somebody you work with. Okay. Okay, stand your ground. Exactly. That's that's what they wanted you to not do with the uh, solar plexus attacks, you know? They didn't want you to stand your ground. They didn't want you to stand in your power. They wanted to be able to dominate you and control you. 
All right, yeah, you are a healer. And which one is this one? Ah, and these people are unawakened. Yeah, this karmic is not awakened. Um, they're never going to wake up. They're under spiritual judgment, you know, uh, spiritual jail. They're going to stay in a low vibration this whole lifetime. They're going to have to come back next lifetime and do it again. And hopefully they get it right the next time. But they're going to stay asleep in this lifetime. Yeah, they're refusing to see the truth. They don't want to see the truth that you protected, that you are a healer. All right, it says here, all the ups and downs were preparing you for what's What's to come? Don't give up and expect the unexpected, all right? So as for you, all these ups and downs was preparing you, you know, for what's coming. You have blessings that are coming your way because you are completing this karmic cycle. Yeah, with this fucking drama queen, all right? You're closing this shit out. You're moving on. Yeah, a, a drama queen with a mental disorder on top of that, okay? All right, this is this says here that, that there's a movie that has a message for you. So some of y'all either already seen a movie... And it reminded you of this karmic, you know, maybe uh, Chucky's Bride. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought about that. But um, Chucky's Bride or anything, whatever movie you saw or you're going to see a movie. And Spirit wants you to really watch this movie. If it comes up somehow, watch it because there's going to be a message for you in that movie. All right. About this karmic and about the situation that you're in now. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah, maybe a movie with somebody trying to rob you or some shit, trying to rob somebody, and it don't, and it don't, it don't go well. We have here they're still pressed over old shit; they cannot get over it. All right, so somebody's still mad. Maybe that you walked away or some shit. It's only a chapter of your life. Maybe they mad that you you looking at it like that. You know, like bitch, I'm not pressed. You know, like you only a chapter of my life, and I'm gonna protect my energy. I'm gonna move on. So they mad about that. They press. Okay, so let me pull out from the other cards. Let's see what we got from here. Da, 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 so yeah, they stressed. <laughs> All right, what else, spirit? We have a car crash. Can y'all see that? So, yeah, low IQ. So, again, this karmic, mental disorder, low IQ. Maybe she's going to get in a car crash if she keeps fucking playing with you. And we have here November. So, next month, if she keeps on trying to play with you, somebody's going to end up getting some, some serious karma here. And they're going to end up getting in a car crash. We have here uh, baby mama or baby daddy drama. And it says here, ignore. Okay? So, yeah, this person, uh, something's going to happen in November. They could be maybe having a birthday in November. So what is that? Uh, Sagittarius? Is that Sagittarius? And I think Scorpio. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, somebody is trying to bring drama into your life. So Spirit is saying, ignore this person. They have a low IQ. You know, they're not on the same level that you're on. They don't have the same mentality. You know, it's just going to lower your vibration. It's going to have you stressed. So just hang up. Don't answer the phone. Block them. You know, just ignore them. When y'all engage in, argue, in arguments with these people, like, you are giving them your energy. So, y'all need to learn how to really protect your energy on all levels, all right? Even a fucking phone call. Cut it. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting my energy at all, bitch. Yeah, because look, this person has demons attached, all right? And it's really those demons that is trying to attack you. If you look at it from a higher perspective, it's the principalities that you're fucking with right now. Like, it's not just the vessel. It's the spirit within them. The demon that is attached wants your energy. And they're going to try to get your energy by any means necessary. So that's why you need to cut this karmic off. We have here a Bluetooth hack or air tag, okay? So be careful because they could be trying to stalk you now, trying to see where you are because you're trying to walk away from them. They could have an air tag somewhere in your car that's been coming out months ago. So uh, at that time, you know, what what was it that, that came out? That there was a, a air tag in the car. Um, I was telling you guys to go on Amazon and look up... Uh, like some type of metal detector. Maybe you could maybe you could just write air tag metal detector or some shit. It's like a detector that will let you know where it is in your car. Because um they be putting it in, in weird spaces that you're never gonna find it. All right. We have here July. Somebody um could be born in July. This is uh cancer and Leo energy. All right, and look, they're trying to set you up, stay woke. Okay, so again, they're trying to find out your location, trying to set you up, 
trying to bring drama into your life because they are pressed over old shit and they cannot get over it. They don't want to get over it. They want to keep on, uh, you know, fucking with you. It's like, again, it's, it's not this person at this point. It's that demon that is on them that wants your energy. What else? We have a Pisces involved here. Somebody can have Pisces somewhere in their chart. And it says they're trying to use sex to manipulate you. All right? Or them. All right? So if this is your person, the karmic is doing this. If this is you that I'm talking to directly, the karmic is trying to manipulate you through sex. So you have to pull your energy back. We already saw the sexy demon card that was talking about them wanting to have sex with you to attach a demon on you. All right? Wherever the card is at. I'm not even going to bother looking for it because everything's nice and organized. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, look, prediction. This is this is saying that I made a prediction or you maybe you saw another reading, but whatever reading you saw, it was about this and now it's happening. Okay? All right. So basically, there's there's a karmic that's trying to come back into your energy and spirit wants you to be careful. We have the letter Y. Okay? You have a letter Y anywhere in your name or their name. We have a Capricorn here. So we have Pisces, we have Capricorn, we have Scorpio, Cancer, uh, Sagittarius, and Leo coming out here. All right, we have on drugs. <laughs> All right, so it, it came out with corporate Capricorn. So this Capricorn is on drugs. Okay, probably a, a pill popper. We have here Inner Circle. Okay. So this person... Um, Maybe they're in your inner circle. Maybe this is your, your karmic, you know? There's somebody that you thought you could fuck with, and clearly you cannot. You got to be careful. Because on top of them having all these, you know, addictions to drugs, to sex, they got demons attached, and this is just like a bad... And they have a, a low IQ. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, no. It's just like a bad combination all around. Yeah, look, you cannot make this up. They are completely toxic in every sense. Like... From every angle, this person has too many fucking problems, bro. You cannot save this person, all right? They, they cannot be saved. Stop slacking and get to it. Yeah, you're trying to save this person. You need to you need to move away. Like, you need to get away from this energy because Spirit is saying you, you slacking. You need to get to it. You need to ignore. You need to walk away. You need to block. You need to fucking get a, what do you call that? Uh, a protection thing, whatever that shit is called. Protection thing, whatever that shit is all right, so let's see. You know, that protection, I forgot what it's called. When you don't want somebody, an order of protection, there you go. You don't want somebody to come in near you, get an order of protection. Stop slacking and get to it. All right, because again, it's not the karmic. It's the demon that is attached to them, that is trying to attach to you. They want your energy. So you need to look at it for how it is at this point. And don't feel bad for this karmic because this karmic is long gone. All right, this is a demon attached to their vessel, okay? And this world is crazy because I be seeing, I be seeing people like that. Like I see people like that now. Like now I see demons attached. I see that. And it's crazy. There's a lot of people walking around here in this in this realm just like that with these demons attached, uh, you know, these fucking energy vampires. All right, we have beard gang. Somebody has a beard. This could be you or your karmic. And if it's a female karmic, I hope she don't got no beard, but whatever. We have an older female. Oh, psh, look at this. Older female and uncle's wife. So what the fuck is going on with this bitch right here? Because she came out in the last reading. Somebody got a uncle who has a wife who's your aunt but married in and she's older than you and i don't know she just oh is that what it is and she forged your name and they're doing spells on the justice system so that they don't get caught up in some bullshit somebody gonna end up in the psych ward we saw that this person got problems all right so somehow this this uncle's wife is connected to this uh situation and it says not your friend scam you know so it could be again they're not your friend um they're not your family all right this karmic is not is not really in love like they're, they're scamming you all right so they're working for some reason look at this shit this shit flew right out somebody gonna pass away they're working with uh with an older woman all right and somebody gonna end up passing away probably her Cause she did something. She forged your name on something and 
if they did, if they passing away in this reading, it's showing me, you know, as a karmic reading, that means that they're doing some type of death spells, some shit. All right, you could be a smoker, or they are smoking weed or whatever. It says here, got their friends and fam watching you. All right, so again, it's like not only the karmic is watching you, but also their friends and family watching you, trying to see what's going to be your next move, trying to see if you're really going to walk away, and you are going to walk away. Fuck every motherfucking body. They defeated themselves. Ha ha. Exactly. They, I feel like these people are all working together trying to hold you back. All right. And they uh, defeated themselves. We have here a deadbeat parent that is involved here. This could be the karmic. Okay. The karmic uh, baby mama or baby daddy. You know, they, they, they're not focused on the child. You know, they're focused on you trying to get you back so that they could um, continue to manifest from your energy. Yeah. They're focused on drugs. Like I said, where, where, where is it? Look at that. I cannot make this up. That's what they want. Money to continue to uh supply you know their drug use all right or alcohol and look more confirmation that this person has health issues and they're mentally unstable all right they're sick they could have an std but again low iq and they have some type of mental problem so this karmic yeah they cannot outsmart you because they're 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 not smart <laughs> period all right and look psych war keeps coming out this karmic is going to end up staying in a fucking psych ward because they keep fucking playing with you and we have here the karmic's mom is the ringleader so again we saw that there was a parent involved here all right and here it is she keeps coming out all right this older woman it could be her aunt oh they about to get locked up it could be her aunt that is helping the mother like you know the mother the aunt everybody's working together here and they're gonna end up getting locked up yeah look you cannot make this up the baby mama's family the karmic's family is trying to work against you they're all working together against you uh we have september Somebody could be a Libra here or a Virgo, okay? And they're power hungry. Yeah, this whole group, okay? With this card only on camera, this is telling me that these people, behind the scenes, they, they are demons, all right? They're power hungry. They do anything for money, anything for power, anything for fame and fortune, which is what we saw here with this uh, other card that I don't find right now with the sacrifice. They sacrifice people so that they could have uh, money, they could have stability, and they could have clout, all right? Like, they only care about appearances and having power, okay? Again, this secret society, this little organization here. Um, and these people are getting karma with this karmic for trying to help her to, like, hold you back so that they can all siphon from your energy, all right? So, we're only on camera. It's telling me that they do this behind the scenes, but in front of the camera or in front of the world, they pretend to be loving people, you know? They pretend like they... Like they have all their, all their materialist, material, material things. Like they pretend like they got it working hard. Okay. And they don't, they didn't get it like that. They, they got it from stealing from people, spiritually stealing from people. As I'll be saying like, yo, this world is crazy. Cause before I woke up, before like I woke up spiritually, I didn't know people do this. You know, like I thought people just really work hard <laughs> for the things that they have. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know people be out here killing people. You know, I thought people would just be dying sometimes with, you know, with cancer and shit like that. And that's not the case all the time. Like, this shit is so real, y'all. This shit is so real. All right. So this karmic, basically, is getting locked up because she was stealing from a job. And uh, that's part of her karma. And that's why they're doing uh, spells on the justice system right now. But it's not working. So that's it. It's time to meet, to meet Jesus. <laughs> it's hard to meet jesus <laughs> oh my god yo oh my god you cannot make it up yo i'm telling you they were stealing from work man i'm gonna just me mess up the whole thing right here they were stealing from work they was cheating at work and they were stealing from work. And like I said, they probably work at a damn strip club or at a club or some shit. And they were stealing. All right. They could have even been doing um, some type of, uh, what do you call that? Money laundering or some shit. They could have been involved in that. All right. And we already saw uh, they was writing your name, you know, forging your signature. So that's already two, two, two counts right there. We have stealing. Uh, we have here forging signatures. You know what I'm saying? So then we have a high priestess in the reverse. So again, this bitch that be doing black magic. Mm-hmm. What else? So this is giving me like uh 
karma all right this is like a karma reading spirit is giving you like an update letting you know what's going on here so we have lovers not homies this person could have been fucking around with somebody's homie and she was acting like they was homies and they're not they're lovers that could be this work bay you know somebody that you work with maybe you make money with this person y'all don't work somewhere y'all make money together and she was fucking him all right we have here daily spell work when he tries to leave her. Yeah, and that's why you want to leave because you found out she was fucking your homie, your co-worker, somebody you work with, you get money with. And now that you're trying to leave, she's doing spell work every fucking day. It's like, bitch, you have a kid. Why are you not focusing on your child? But you're focusing on this, you know, trying to keep a dude um, in a low vibration with your dusty ass. You know what I'm saying? So she's doing spell work, but it's not working. All right. I feel like they, they always do this and... It just, it, it, it's like now shit is finally hitting the fan. You know, it's not working anymore. They used to get their way with these things, but not anymore. Which is why I be telling y'all, like, these people that be doing this black magic shit, I don't know why, like, nobody gives them, like, the, 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 the handbook and lets them know, like, that this shit does not last forever. Like, they think that they was going to keep doing this shit forever. We have here, it's like, you know, they didn't know that the devil don't play fair because that's what's, that's what's happening now. The devil is playing a joke on them. <laughs> like, you thought that the devil was going to protect you now, nah, bitch. Like, now you're going to get all your karma. You know what I'm saying? So we have this loyalty. Exactly. The devil is not loyal, bitch. All right? And security cameras. Um, This person got caught on the security cameras being a fucking snake. See what I'm saying? So they was basically, yeah, now they're going to visit jail. Mm-hmm. They, they were stealing from work. All right, we have the masculine moved out. Oh, he's about to move out because, again, like, you know, he don't want to deal with this shit. It's too much. Or you could be the masculine and you're about to move out because you don't want to deal with this. It's too much. And that's why she's doing spell work because she don't want you to leave her. These bitches are fucking disgusting, bro. I'm telling y'all, like, I'm just seeing the world so differently now. And it's really weird. Like, people really be on some weird shit. We have here lust not love and that's exactly what this is this is a a, a a purely sexual connection all right this person has a cursed bloodline which is why i was saying that the whole fucking family is eating off of this person's energy none of these people can manifest none of these people are high vibrational these people are in spiritual jail these people probably been in spiritual jail since they was born because in the last lifetime they was doing this crazy shit they've been cursed for lifetimes and they're cursed in this lifetime as well. One of these karmics had a chance to switch up the game, to break the generational curse, and they didn't do it. They gave in. They kept doing this bullshit. So now this whole family is cursed once again because everything is going back to them. All right? All the black magic is going back to all of them. Everybody that helped this person to do this to you, all of them is getting the same shit. Same karma. Jail time, uh, money losses, and death. Yeah, look, they're all going through the same shit. I'm telling you, lifestyle downgrade. And I said it in the beginning of the reading, these people are power hungry. You know, it's all about clout for these people. You know, they want to steal from people to go buy their Louis Vuitton. They, what is it? The red bottoms, you know, all their name brand bullshit. That's what they do this for, for clout, for money. And now they're going to, they're going to have a lifestyle downgrade. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, bitch. All right. We have here somebody's birthday. We have here that somebody has this. Ooh, yeah, that part. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just uh, somebody Somebody has that, all right? Tattoos, and they work out th that part right there. <laughs> all right, what else? Ooh, too many. What is this one? barren woman incapable of producing children so this this karmic if she already has a child because we saw that they are bad mom or whatever they're not gonna be able to have kids no more all right this person is now a barren barren yeah barren i think that's how you say it barren woman they cannot have kids anymore all right they, and that's a good thing because this person should not have kids you know they about to get locked up you know they're doing black magic they don't really care about 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 their kids or their child we have here that that and this is also giving me confirmation that they was probably doing some type of womb attacks to somebody trying to stop somebody from having a child as well so this is karma so this owl it says that it's connected to the story so i have to say it every time the last time that i saw an owl that it was significant a karmic family member a karmic's family member that was attacking me the karmic her family member passed away 
So when I looked it up, Spirit was giving me confirmation that that was some type of spell work they was doing that backfired, okay? So I wrote this because I saw an owl. It's probably been like a month already that we saw the owl that I posted it. And I knew it was symbolic. So, you know, Spirit is just saying, wait on it, all right? It's been coming out for the longest that something's going to pop off in the winter. We're not in the winter yet. So this owl is connected to this story, all right? Meaning that there's going to be a death here. And we already saw that the card said that too, <clears throat> that somebody's going to pass away. All right. Yeah, we have here troubled waters. Wow, look at this, y'all. Somebody's going to get cancer or AIDS. Again, this is this is interesting because didn't I say that earlier that people be dying, you know, from cancer? That was something that was just random. And look, it was connected to this story because they be doing this to people. All right. And I know that y'all probably like, no, that's crazy. People, you know, can do that. You know, they do. Yeah, look, crime. This is a crime family. And that's a crime in spiritual as in the spiritual world as well. Like you cannot be doing that. You cannot be playing God in people's lives. So they are going to pay tremendously for what they have done. I know a girl, and I'm going to tell the story again. Rest in peace to her. But uh, she was beefing so much with this guy at my job. And he was a, a brujo. You know, this is when I was working before. And he was into all that shit. And he was extremely low vibrational. He was toxic as fuck. He even got on my damn nerves. But he couldn't fuck with me. At the time, I didn't know too much about that. But I know that he was attacking me. He ended up getting jumped. <laughs> he ended up getting jumped in the, in the train station. Uh, and that was crazy. That was his karma. But anyway... The girl, though, the girl, you know, I guess she didn't have protection like that because everybody don't have protection like that. All right. Um, but whoever's watching this, God guided you here because you do. You are protected. You are part of this collective. OK, but there's people who's very low vibrational. And that girl, she was, you know, and um, basically, uh, you know, it was like the, the guy, too. You know, he was like kind of competing with her because he was a little bit, you know like this you know he was bisexual you know so he um he was competing with her he had like a weird thing with her like you know like he was jealous of her so anyways it was like something that turned very drastic he 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 just was hating on her you know always sucking shit i hope she dies and all this crazy shit next thing you know um the girl goes to the r and she sh she shot herself she just shot herself they said she was in the car she drove off somewhere, and the next thing you know, they found her in the car with, you know, she shot herself in the head. I know that sounds so crazy, bro. But um, at the time, I didn't know that that was connected to that, but I just felt something. You know, I wasn't that tuned in with my higher self, but I felt like something was connected to that, and I didn't know people would be doing that, so I didn't know. But then years later, because this happened years ago, I ended up, you know, asking Spirit because it kept it kept coming up in my head. And I'm just like, all right, let me just pull the cards. And when I pulled the cards, Spirit showed it to me that he did black magic on her. And it and it was it was fucked up because he killed her, but he didn't do it. You understand? Like she did it to herself, but it's because they was fucking with her head. And that's what be going on here. These people be doing this type of shit. And they did that to that girl. All right, it says here they cannot harvest off your energy anymore. They mad. Yeah, they mad right now. I'm telling you, they was harvesting off your energy. All of them. Okay, uh, somebody who's involved here is 26 or uh, 27, you know, 28, whatever, between 26 and 33 years old. All right. So, yeah, unfortunately, man, that's why I be telling y'all, raise your vibration, uh, ground yourself, protect your energy, do the healing work. Because when you're in a low vibration like that, you in, you in the, the devil's playground. And that's what happened with that girl. You know, everything's already written. That was part of her story. But that's how she went out. All right. And he will pay for that in the next lifetime. He's already paying for it now. Like, that dude, he's a low life, you know? Like, he don't, he's, yeah, he's a low life. He's always drinking, you know? He don't got no life. He don't got no love, you know? So he's paying for that. And if he's watching me, who knows? Hey, bitch. <laughs> Hey, bitch, <laughs> satanic rituals destroyed. I'm telling you, this person was doing all this shit with their family, and now they're getting the karma, all right? That shit got destroyed. We have the karmic is trying to kill you. That is so crazy. We have the masculine found your photo on her altar, all right? So the masculine found the karmic doing some type of black magic to kill you, all right? You could be the divine feminine that is meant to be with this masculine, and this bitch was trying to do death spells on you, and he saw it, all right? He found out what she was doing. And now she's trying to do spell work so that this person um, doesn't leave her. All right. This reading is kind of long, so I'm going to cut it out right here. Yeah. 
And the only reason that she's doing this, once again, is because she's a gold digger, a scammer, a thief, and a thot. All right? She just wants this person's money. And she's going to do anything that she can to, to have money. All right? Wow. She's going to do anything that she can to have money. Listen, I told y'all she don't really care about this kid. All right? Uh, she's a demon. You know what I'm saying? She don't have that nurturing spirit within her. So she will sacrifice this child. And I already told y'all this in the last reading that these bitches be doing this. They be acting like they're blessing their kid, uh, acting, acting like they're initiating their kid into this religion. But in actuality, they are giving this child's energy to the devil. You know, like and they're, they're siphoning the kid's gifts, the kid's blessings, all of that. You don't have to kill a kid to sacrifice a kid. All right. They just act like they're, they're blessing the child. They act like they're doing a ceremony and that's what's really going on in the ceremony. That's what's going on here. The devil's going to have another, 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 another worker. And it's going to be, unfortunately, this child. All right. Who's going to end up growing into this religion and they're going to keep on siphoning from that child. All right. But that's not going to happen. They probably just sacrifice the child, but they're not going to get anything out of that because their time is done here. You know, like they've been doing this for years and now it's over. So they try, they sacrifice that child for nothing. <laughs> All right. And yeah, secretive. They're doing this shit in secret. All right. We have here somebody, yeah, hidden. Okay. Somebody's also a sex worker and they're doing this shit in secret as well. An escort. All right. With new perspective, this person could be seeing things clearly. Seeing that this bitch is an escort and he probably didn't believe it. All right. One more and I'm going to close it out. scammer couple so yeah this karmic could be scamming or she's trying to accuse this person of scamming with her to get her caught up in some bullshit yeah because we have the police is watching them wow all right so the police is watching this karmic and she's going to try to implicate this person into her crime all right she's gonna say we was both scamming or some bullshit but we had this energy i think it came out earlier in this in the general reading something about a karmic trying to take you down with them and that's not going to happen all right so if you're the one dealing with this karmic just know that you are good as long as you stay away from this karmic and you continue to protect your energy you are protected all right but if you engage with this karmic then god is going to be like well you got free will you want to get in this mess so we're gonna we're gonna back up and we're gonna let you go through your bullshit so that you can learn the hard way all right but if you're not you know just keep pulling your energy back and stay away and let God handle this, all right? Because everything is going down with these people. They need to get their karma. They've been doing way too much to too many people this whole time, okay? So that's what I got here, y'all. Stay woke. Peace.